Hey folks, remember the good old days? And I'm talking about, oh, three weeks ago when PC leader Doug Ford promised that all candidates would go through a nomination process. And then Doug Ford promptly appointed 11 candidates, including some who are really liberals. Well, just will you see how one of those liberal appointees tried to hoodwink the people in the press only to be caught red-handed. Doug Ford has been adamant, or he was adamant, that the current PC party, unlike the dark old days of Patrick Brown, would be beholden to the grassroots. Well, those grassroots are looking about as natural as AstroTurf in a dome stadium these days. Consider Meredith Cartwright. She's a lifelong liberal. She once ran one of the largest liberal women's clubs in the country. And she's a human rights lawyer to boot. And despite that resume, she was appointed as the progressive conservative member for Toronto Centre. How is that even possible? Not only was there no nomination process, but Meredith is about as left of centre as you can possibly get. So prior to the Ontario leadership debate on Monday, Several Meredith Cartwright supporters assembled outside the City TV studio in downtown Toronto and we spoke to a few. Hey, what's making you support Meredith Cartwright, sir? That's good, 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 good. My English is not good. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> Hi, guys. How you doing there? Are you guys uh, Meredith Cartwright supporters? I don't speak How about yourself, sir? Meredith Cartwright supporter? Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. What makes you support her? Uh, well, I'm a conservative Christian, and so the values more or less line up more than the peace or the liberals. <laughs> well, that, that's interesting because Meredith Cartwright is a lifelong liberal. Um, I'm just wondering what makes her a PC member all of a sudden. I'm not sure. I've actually never been fought. I've been fallen more dog than her. So, but she's run as a liberal. She used to be the president of the largest liberals club, women's club in Canada. So how does someone like that become a PC candidate? Um, could be just the policy. She's seen the effects of the Liberal Party over the years. And, okay. yeah. How about yourself, sir? You're a Meredith Cartwright supporter? Yes, I am. Okay. Just wondering, um, why is Meredith Cartwright running as a PC? She's been a lifelong Liberal. Um, I guess she has to do what she has to do to make things happen, right? But I mean, it, it seems to be a, quite a diverse you know, shift in, in values. And, and the fact that she got appointed as a candidate. There was no nomination meeting, uh, which Doug Ford was promising. Is that problematic for you at all? Or? Not at all. It's what the people want. So uh, is, has Meredith Cartwright announced that she's renounced her liberal values from previous years? Maybe you should ask her that. <laughs> she here today? <laughs> There's a big crowd. You got to find her. But I'm here to support Meredith Cartwright. Okay. You know, they really don't seem all that engaged, do they? And oddly, a woman who would later describe herself as Meredith Cartwright's life partner began whispering in the ears of these supporters. And what she said was this, don't talk to the media, check it out. Hi guys, you're uh, Meredith Cartwright supporters? Um, I don't know, should we be talking? I don't know if we should be uh, talking to the press. Oh, should be talking? Oh, I'm not sure if we're... Uh allowed but uh You're not allowed meredith won't allow you to talk to us oh no i haven't spoken to her i can't really speak for that but uh okay. if you can speak to thank you just go by the <laughs> hey guys no no uh, yeah no that's a little weird isn't it or is it because check this out it was later revealed that those weren't meredith cartwright supporters we were interviewing but rather they were paid actors. By the way, the going rate for six hours work of being a Meredith Cartwright bogus booster is $75. That works out to $12.50 an hour. Oh, Meredith, you mean you didn't even pay these stooges minimum wage? What a jip. But chicanery aside, we did eventually get to speak with Meredith herself. Check it out. Just wondering, how, when did you become a conservative? That's an excellent question. Um, I, well, I think I officially became a conservative when I joined the party uh, for the purposes of voting for leadership. Okay. 
But, I mean, you've been a lifelong liberal, a uh, human rights lawyer. That's true. Uh, well, I don't think being a human rights lawyer is antithetical to being a conservative. Do you? Uh, well, are we talking about the Human Rights Commission or Tribunal? Or? No, no, just being, I think, being, uh, you know, having principles stand for human rights okay. is not antithetical to conservative principles. Oh, in a real court, but not in a kangaroo court, no, that's for sure. In, in any place, I think. <laughs> Standing up for human rights, I think, is not in opposition to being a conservative. What would be your opinion of the Human Rights Commission and Human Rights Tribunal? Right now, I don't have one. Really? Right and you're a human rights lawyer? No, I am a human rights lawyer, but right now as we speak, I don't have I don't have a, an opinion right now as we speak on the Human Rights Commission. Oh, okay. I, I thought that would be right in your wheelhouse being a human rights lawyer. Uh, no, I am a human rights lawyer, and, and I've got the cases to prove it. But right now, I don't have a formulated opinion on the Human Rights Commission. Yeah, she's a human rights lawyer, but has no real opinion on human rights commissions and human rights tribunals. Isn't this akin to a fisherman having no opinion on fish? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your hand-picked PC candidate for Toronto Centre. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is yet another stellar example of one of the reasons why the PCs might just blow this election come June 7th. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, I hope to personally see you on Saturday, June the 2nd for our second annual Rebel Live event. Rebels galore from the big boss man himself, Ezra Levant, to Sheila Gunn-Reed and John Cardillo and lots of other fascinating and interesting speakers. Go to therebellive.com and get your tickets today.